so how much hair fall is actually normal for that you need to know the hair cycle so hair doesn't follow a set pattern it goes into a particular fashion into growth plateau and then it sheds off and this is known as hair cycle which is continuously changing and it is quite dynamic so there are three stages of hair cycle the first one is anagen or the growth phase it constitutes majority of the hair cycle around 80% while the second phase is catagen in which the hair achieves a plateau and then it sheds off reaching into the last stage which is the telogen or the shedding phase of hair the duration of anagen on an average is 3 to 8 years that of catagen is 2 to 3 weeks and that of telogen is 2 to 3 months hair cycle is not synchronous what does it mean it means that at a particular point of time not every hair would be in anagen phase or catagen phase or telogen phase on an average around 10% of the total hair is in the shedding or the telogen phase this accounts for around 100 hair per day that means around 10 to 100 hair fall a day is normal obviously it is going to depend on various other factors like combing your hair and also the length of hair because let's say you have not combed for a week and then you comb your hair after 7 days obviously you would ha have more hair fall as compared to the rest of the days because all the shed out hair has accumulated so much for today guys in the next video we are going to talk about the hair length volume as well as density so stay tuned until the time be beautiful be influential